Hey everybody, welcome back to Hard for Games. I'm Tony. I'm Richie. And the guys have been itching to do another beer episode. Oh, we're yeah. always, <laughs> always <laughs> itching. You, you more, might... more like DTing, but yeah, yes, yes. You, you might have noticed we like beer, uh, but <laughs> uh, specifically this time around, we are doing video game themed beers. Indeed. So everything that we drink is somehow related to video games. Uh, now keep in mind that not all of these will be available in your area and not all the video game themed beers in your area are available in Michigan. And unfortunately, we would need a license to be able to ship it to you. So I would love to make it a reward, but you know, maybe maybe on the dark net you can. <laughs> yeah, we, we, love our, <laughs> we love our patrons, but you know. Anyways, uh, cheers and let's get started. Pixel Bomb which is dry hop pale ale, 5.6%. I kind of like the can, it's like very uh, simple. It's just like a label slapped over it and the, the pixel bombs kind of remind me of like, like Zelda. Uh -huh. or, they look almost exactly like the bombs in Zelda. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, they really, they nailed it. And this is from 450 North uh, Brewery in Indiana. That's definitely hoppy. Does it make you hoppy? Ooh, that's, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. It's, it's a little fruity. That is, I was going to say, it's, fruity. it's definitely hoppy, but I, I like it. It's. Not, I feel it's, like it could explode more for for a, a beer with bomb in the name. But other than that, yeah, it's not as effervescent as I, I would like. You have any of those pop rocks left from? <laughs> <laughs> that would be dangerous. Beer and pop rocks. It is definitely lighter than I would have expected it to be. Right. Right. Well, it's it's just a pale ale. It's not an India pale ale. It's That's not true. a double India pale nope, ale. just a dry hopped pale yeah. ale. I, it kind of is it's almost has a little bit of citrusy, fruity right. sort of mm -hmm. flavor to it. Yep. Yeah, it does. This is a pale ale I can get does behind. Does 450 North have anything to say about its own beer? No. Not on this one, no. All right, next up is Zangief's Beer Hug. Yep, Zangief. Bear Hug. Bear Hug, bear hug yeah. Oh, Bear, bear hug. hug. I can see the confusion. I, yeah, 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 I, I kind of yeah. like the pun better. Yeah, we should just, too. We yeah. should just change the name to Beer Hug. Yeah, exactly. Should I do that again, or is that funny? Obviously, if you're familiar with the Street Fighter series, he's a character from Street Fighter, yep. and he does uh, Sambo, which is a uh, wrestling style. So, of course, he's doing a lot of grabbing right. and throwing. Kind of like and a, that kind like of stuff. a Greco-Roman style. Yeah. yeah, yeah, for big big guys. It's a he's big a, guy he's martial He's a big art. Russian yeah, fighter. Yeah, so... Appropriately, it's a Russian-style imperial stout. Right. And look at that chest hair. Oh, mercy me. It is like <laughs> manscaped into yeah. a, like a mustache. Almost. Yeah, it almost looks like a horseshoe as well. Uh, what percentage is this? I think it's pretty high. Shorts never really puts their percentages on the bottle. Yeah, it doesn't say on the bottle, but I, I thought I read that it was somewhere around 9, though I could be mistaken. Uh, like you said, it's Shorts Brewing Company, mm -hmm. which is located in the northern lower peninsula yes. of Michigan. Oh, that is dark. Oh, yeah. Just like my soul. Well, your Imperials are always going to be stronger. And higher percentage. Very imperialistic. Mm-hmm. Now, one thing I should note is that in our previous beer episode, when we matched the appropriate beers with mm -hmm. games, we were very specific about the type of glasses we would use for each right. beer. We don't care no. anymore. We're just using these big old mugs because... Because we can pour and drink. And it's easy. And we Just don't like have like us. a table in front of us, yes. Ooh, that is that's thick. That's real thick. She thick, Bobby. Mm. It is it is nine point five percent. Nine point five percent? Nine that's fantastic. Five A B V. And like, hundred sixteen international bitterness units. That is that is something. It's good. It I makes like me it. wanna go wrestle. Yeah. A wrestle. I also feel like this is a more appropriate pairing in terms of the name and the type right. of beer than a lot of these other beers are. Mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of them are like, oh, this one is kind of like a Zelda thing. And then we it's just like, want to put up it's like a whatever, Excel, yeah. you know. This makes sense according to the character. Yes, this is a bear hug in my mouth. It's there. Yeah, I'm, I'm, already, it I'm already, it's already hit me. <laughs> it is a little present. Bit. Need to do... Well, granted, you probably haven't eaten today. Yeah, well, I haven't. No, that's true. So the main thing I bring to this company is controversy. Yes. And this next beverage, Octorock, by Schwartz Brewing Company, who did Zangief's Beer Hug. <laughs> it is Beer Hug. It's not Beer Hug. But their sister company, Starlit Ciders, mm. made this beverage, Octorock, which I can't totally tell if it's video game themed or not because they spelled it wrong and there's yeah. not really any Zelda imagery. Mm-hmm. But I can't think of any other reason they would call it Octorock. Yeah. Unless it's like a blend of eight different apple.
apples and rocks, and the secret ingredient is Michigan State stone, the Petoskey that, stone. That could be good. And I, I say that now, but Shorts better not watch this video because they will make that <laughs> into a beer. <laughs> There's a bunch of rocks. Um, and the reason hey, they're ground up first. Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, we let me pour again. Thank goodness it's cider. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's why he said that he brings controversy because this is not. It's not beer. a beer either. It's yeah. a cider. <laughs> That's tasty. I mean, I mean, it just literally just tastes like juice. Yeah, it's, a, lot, a lot of ciders have a little uh, fizzy to them. This doesn't really have too much of that. It's it's a really strange beverage. I like it, but it's. I mean, I've spoiled myself for the rest of the beers we're tasting, and they're mainly of the heavier and super alcoholic variety. Yeah. This I think is like four point something percent alcohol. Four point nine. So. Yeah. This is like baby's first alcohol. Yeah. Where's your child? Our baby's sleeping. He's not going to have any uh, cider <laughs> tonight. <laughs> I think your your cider spinoff is working, Shorts. Keep keep it up. Yeah. <laughs> up next, we have Candy Crushable. You know, the game that everybody loves to ignore on Facebook. So this is a pale ale with lactose sugar added. And huh. you're, the, you're the pharmacist. Lactose sugar. That's, what did you say, milk? Comes from tits. Mmm. <laughs> Straight from the source. <laughs> and uh, so <laughs> right here it says unfiltered, sediment may occur, fresh is best, do not sell her. I would love to sell her some candy crush. Oh, yeah. It's terrible. Ooh. It's like. It's odd. Yeah. It it's smell... not bad. No, it smells hoppier than what it is. The milk in it. Yeah, it does, the milk in it does kind of balance the hoppiness a it little It really bit. does, because it, it really... The lactose. It's it's still overall a really strange flavor, though. Right, I've it never like, tasted yeah. anything quite like this. It's not bad, but I, I feel like it should be sweet. Right, yeah. Like it's sweeter. Right. Like, you know. sweet, sweeter than... And yeah. I, I feel like I would need to ask a friend on Facebook to help me drink this, because yeah. I, I died. We need to get those hammers and pay for something i don't even know what to do it's weird because it's like bubbly when you taste it and then it like turns instantly flat and that's it i mostly get the flatness but the the artwork was actually pretty pretty cool and distinctive it's not like the most unique image of all time but it kind of has that like outrageous like semi-realistic animated style that was like big in the 90s like rotoscope, it's, sort of it's like. kind of cool though how it's got like the candy in a vice yeah. being crushed yeah. yeah just killed it points for design and eh, for flavor <laughs> yeah i wish it would have been like real sweeter there's sweeter beers out yeah. there i'm not gonna be wrong i've had significantly worse beers this, this is a fine it's beer. It's, a it's, fine it's a fine beer, beer. but i i feel like we could have used a little a little more fruit. Give, yeah. give me the, the the reason why it's called that. Right. Other than right, just right. lactose. I mean, yeah, lactose sugar Cru added. Crush some candy in there yeah. for us. Yeah. Pop rocks again. We could do pop rocks again. <laughs> All right, next up is Hoptronics Double India Pale Ale by New Holland Brewing Company, which mm. is in Holland, Michigan. Holland, Michigan. Another yeah. uh, Michigan. Very uh, Dutch city. Yes. It's very nice, As actually. one would imagine. Yeah, they have that um, tulip festival. Yes, they do. Actually. Not the three lips. Very, very pretty. Uh, so this Hoptronics is, is very, like, it's just Space Invaders, basically. I'm not sure what Space Invaders has to do with it, but... Hey, whatever. Um, I'm not super into IPAs. I've been no. more into IPAs lately. If they're done no. very well, but this being a double IPA, I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about this. I do think it'll probably have its audience. I just don't know if that audience will be me. Cheers to you. Cheers to me. If we ever disagree. Fuck you. Cheers to me. Ooh, that is, that is pine fresh. This wasn't, doesn't taste as strong as I expected it to be. No. So this is a uh, 9%. Oh, you know, it's an 85 on the IBU. Oh. So it's less bitter. So it's not super bitter for an IPA. That's very surprising. It's very. It's almost kind of sweet. It is. It does have a sweetness to it. It doesn't taste like uh, a nine percent. Like normally, when you get above eight, you can kind of like, unless it's like brewed very it does well. That, like... Yeah, like you know, you can kind of taste the alcohol. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes when it, when you have a nice like aged beer, mm -hmm. you can't. And even if it's in, like in the, the high teens, like but... a nice Belgian. I do love a Belgian. You love oh, Belgian too. Belgians are so good. Mm, Belgian frites. It's no, kind of just, just a citrusy sort of IPA. 
nothing crazy. Yeah, it just tastes hoppy, yeah. pine, like pine freshy. It's That's good. That's about it. It's not I, bad. I drink a full can of one of these. You know, it's weird to recommend a double India Pale mm -hmm. Ale for people that aren't into IPAs, but this could be a good starting point for people right. because it, it tastes more like a pale. Um, right. But for people that are like really into IPAs, I don't know if this is going to give you what you want in terms of that bitterness. No, but... if, you want, if you want to drink something that's going to knock your socks off and not taste bad, I think it'll be all right. Yeah, it's good. It's, good. it's not crazy. It's fine. It's all right. Just like Space Invaders. Not crazy. Just fine. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next up we have 8-Bit Pale Ale. And this one is a tall order here because it has like a Pac-Man look-alike. They're, they're really going for the, the Vidya games. He kind of has his little tongue out and everything. Uh, this is from Tallgrass Brewing Company, which apparently is from Manhattan, Kansas. Ooh. I, I guess that's a thing. <laughs> Percentage here. Okay, so it's 5.2% alcohol by volume, nothing crazy. Bursting with complex flavors, 8-Bit is channeled through the Hop Rocket, a stainless steel vessel packed full of hops, which infuses the beer with an extra burst of tasty hop flavors and aromas <laughs> right before it's put into cans. Bobby's, <laughs> Bobby's reaction was not so... The Hop Rocket, that sounds like something like that you'd order off Amazon that you wouldn't want your neighbors to find out Yeah, about. exactly. <laughs> this has a bit more of that classic bitter hoppy taste yeah. compared to some of the the other brews we've had here today i don't i don't really know what's supposed to taste eight bit about it though i mean there is nothing that you can really have that tastes eight bit it's just kind of a pale ale yeah it's nothing crazy buy it on sale on steam that's right steam sale humble bundle <laughs> two brothers Artisan Brewing Pinball Juicy Hop Pale Ale. That's a mouthful. Juicy Hop Pale Ale? Juicy Hop Pale Ale. I didn't know like... It's a juicy mouthful. Oh, yeah, mercy I didn't know me. Hops could be juicy. I did not I did not know either. Right. This is kind of an on honorable mention because it's not really a video game. It's a pinball. Pinball. Pinball reference. But I mean, it's, it's a cool, cool yeah. looking can. It is a really cool looking can. I actually really like this. I dig it. And pinball is kind of the proto video game yeah so why i mean not? they're in every arcade so yeah why not let's go ahead and uh, give this guy a pour. Yep. this is uh 31 ibu so it shouldn't be too bitter no. and it's uh 4.9 percent alcohol so, so it should nice be lighter you know yeah all right cheers last one of the cheers. night before we do our holiday stream here this is not bad it's light all, all most a lot of these beers except for the um stout has yeah, been that... kind of fruity citrusy sort of mm -hmm. which i think a lot of like pale ales and ipas mm -hmm throw in some of that citrus flavor to kind of counteract the hops yeah. a bit. It's tasty. It is tasty for... It, it, it's sort of like a afternoon beer. It's, it's light, I mean, it's, it's refreshing, you know. These really aren't my styles. I'm not really the hop man. Like, I'm not a yeah. hop head like some people. All right, so that is our second beer episode. Yeah. Video game themed beers. Thank you all for joining us. We're a little... Tip-tastic. Yeah, I mean... Tip-toe-tastic We, right we just slammed through however many Six beers. Six beers or so. Yeah. yeah. So, hey. Let no the judgment deal. begin. Let us know some of your favorite beverages in the comments below. And, hey, if you have some uh, favorite local <laughs> video game themed beers, let us know about it. Yeah. And if there's any that we missed that you can actually get in Michigan mm -hmm. or the Midwest, definitely let us know because we'd be interested in, in right. uh, checking them out. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Uh, feel free to, if you're interested, support us on Patreon. We have a t-shirt store. Or if that is not your bag, that's fine. Yeah. Just leave us a like and a comment and we'd be more than appreciative. Yeah, subscribe. What is that face you're doing? <laughs> what, is that, what is that face you're doing? We'll see you guys next time. Take it easy, guys. <laughs> Thank you again for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a like and a share, and we will see you guys next time.